In recent weeks, dozens of migrants have landed on this Spanish beach, finally setting foot on European soil. Spain has now overtaken both Italy and Greece to become the top destination for migrants looking to enter the European Union. Are we now standing at the new frontier of Europe's migrant crisis? Trouble has broken out at the border of a Spanish enclave in Morocco. And has started crossings across the Strait of Gibraltar. Turned away from ports in Malta and Italy earlier this week before Spain finally accepted it. Spain has now become the most used migrant route into Europe. The migrants used to congregate around this particular part of Africa down here and walk up through Libya and enter the EU via either Italy or Greece. But those routes are now largely closed. And so what's happening is the migrants are traveling through these countries, up through Morocco and into Spain, therefore entering the European Union. It's that bit of the trip that we're gonna be looking at. The next day, we tried to find some migrant camps near Ceuta, and along the Moroccan coast. We've been told that up to 50,000 migrants were hiding out in these hills. We're about to head down deep into the forest to see if we can find any evidence of migrant camps. The Mor Moroccan police actually warned us when we were going into the forest today not to film and uh, to watch out because apparently the migrants have battery acid. So uh, this could get interesting, I suppose. It's very clear that this certainly used to be a migrant camp. There's a lot of evidence of clothing and uh, there's a used toilet up there, for example, and yeah, it looks like they've been trying to cook in various places as well. Bits of litter, bottles, shoes as well. It looks to me as though maybe not even that long ago there was quite a sizeable sized migrant camp here. It took us just 20 minutes of searching to find evidence that migrants have been hiding here. Everywhere we looked, there were remnants of human activity, and it's clear that thousands of migrants have been living in this vast area of woodland. For a lot of the migrants that were based at the camps that we've just seen, the next step is to try to cross the border into Europe at Ceuta. So that's where we're heading now. Ceuta is one of two Spanish enclaves in Morocco, and for years it has been used by migrants to gain access to Europe. Migrants know that if they manage to set foot on this strip of Spanish soil in Africa, they will have achieved their goal and have entered the European Union. This is Spain and that is Morocco. It's quite literally one of the most heavily fortified borders in the world and it's Europe's gateway to Africa. But recently it's become one of the most contentious and dangerous strips of land in the European Union. We spoke to representatives from a new Spanish political party called Vox. They're opposed to mass migration and are fearful of the direction Spain is heading due to the new government's approach to the migrant crisis. Two locals from Vox showed us around Ceuta and told us how the migrants attempt to storm the border. With the uh, big scissors, and uh, uh, Acido. yes, uh, use uh, uh, many meter for two hearts, uh, corrosive liquids, uh, use uh, uh, um, bags, bags with uh, uh, excrement inside uh, for to throw to the police. Uh, use uh, flamethrowers. Uh, flamethrowers? Yeah, yes, homemade Militar. flamethrowers. Uh, the police have uh, directly ordered for government. Uh, please don't use the violence. If anyone jump, uh, no problem. You only try to catch and it's good. Okay, don't use the violence. But if you are receiving attack, directly attack, if anyone is uh, throwing, throw, uh, throwing you uh, calvin, Viva acids, mm -hmm. uh, using scissors, using knife, uh, trying to use little uh, excrement bags. Uh, it's, you, you, you need uh, to minimum you defense you, your life, your own life. Sometimes uh, you can see uh, the migrants uh, crossing the sea and arrive to the beach. Um, normally, uh, this place uh, are with police. Okay. So, because of this, is not the more common, yeah. the more common place. Yeah. But sometimes happen. They were under no illusion as to the reasons behind the new Spanish migrant crisis. Yes, because we have a new government with Pedro Sanchez. Um, for example, uh, we we look uh, like. Uh, 
they they say come here to the boat uh, to the ship Aquarius with all mm. the migrants of, of Libya um, all the migrants the, that tried to to go to Europe uh, crossing the the sea to 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 Italy uh, now with uh, in Italy uh, they have Salvini uh, they they have closed the door to the migrants to the illegal immigration and all these migrants uh, now try to to cross the sea uh, and, and go to, to Spain who do you blame do you blame the Spanish government or the European Union both both uh, the European Union have uh, a big responsibility because our borders are the European borders um, and Pedro Sánchez have the responsibility to go to Brussels and to to be a leader of Spain, not a not a toy. Everywhere you look, driving around Ceuta, there were hundreds of young African men walking around the city. We wanted to catch up with one of them to find out why they had undertaken such a dangerous journey and what they planned to do now they'd finally made it into Europe. Whereabouts were you born? Mm. Guinea Conakry. Yeah. And it was in your home country in Guinea was, was everything very bad or? No, Guinea Conakry. But we want change my life. Mm. That make I am mm. uh, ready for that for change my life. Did you manage to get through the uh, border, the fence? Mm. Did you manage to get get through it? Yes, it, we passed the the. The day 26 January, yeah. we enter inside here. Oh, okay. Yes. Was it difficult, hard work to get through the fence? Yeah, you know, it's, it's very difficult, my brother. That way, is that where you cut your... Yes, this, my finger is broke. Pandi Grias, you understand? Yeah, yeah. This all for now for change this life mm. you're gonna stay you want to stay in spain you don't want to go to france or no, germany I, england I want to stay different, uh, inside here espan here yeah. back yes as we left Ceuta, i couldn't help but noticing the astonishing lack of women and children among the migrant groups these were all young men and the majority of those we spoke to were very honest about the fact that they came to europe to better their economic circumstances not flee war the fact is, they're going to keep coming as long as they know there is a weak border and little to no risk of being deported. The second way migrants make it into Europe is by boat. Usually, under the cover of darkness, migrants will attempt a short journey across the Strait of Gibraltar. So we visited the closest place to Spain from the Moroccan coast at night to see what the migrants were up against. But within minutes, police have spotted us, even in the pitch black. This is Bedludek Beach. The time is about 10 to 11 at night. This is quite literally the end of the road for a lot of the African migrants trying to make it into Europe. They've got all the way through Africa, they've got all the way through Morocco, and what they do by cover of darkness is to get into boats like the one right here and travel roughly the 12 kilometers just across that strip of water and touch down on Spanish territory, trying to evade the police all the way, of which there are literally dozens. It's eerie to think that this very evening there are probably hundreds hundreds of African migrants trying to make this exact journey. Boats carrying African migrants now regularly come ashore at this Spanish beach in Zahora, but we know that's a very difficult task, not just because of the rough seas, but because of the strong Moroccan military presence on the other side of the water. A member of Spain's Guardia Civil, the military wing of their police force, has agreed to talk to us. He knew we were here and he reached out. He says he's got some shocking revelations about how these migrants are getting into Spain and the fact that the government is doing precious little to stop them. So as you can see, I'm here at a port in Algeciras. Now, there's one reason why I am here. Uh, as you can see, there is a boat just there that helps to take migrants out of the shore and onto land in Spain, mainland Spain. Well, we've been told by a couple of people that actually uh, people, human traffickers, on the beach in Morocco are sending their coordinates to this boat here. That boat is then just going to Morocco, picking them up and bringing them back. I've actually managed to secure an interview with a survey police officer uh, here in Spain who has a story to tell apparently about what's going on so we're gonna go and meet them now and see what they have to say. They aren't take the people uh, in the middle of the sea they are going to the to Moroccan waters because uh, the migrants 
take the, their phones and put the coordinates to the people of Tarifa, Tarifa Trafico. Then Tarifa Trafico calls to the people of Salamento Maritimo and they're going uh, over there to the, to the Moroccan cities. Mm. And w is the government here in Spain not doing much to stop this? Nothing. They know uh, in, in the, the last uh, winter the people of Frontex uh, knows that uh, this summer uh, it will be a, a very bad summer with, uh, with migrants and they do anything. Uh, it's a bad, a bad future, maybe, for, for us and for them, because we, we, we can't help them, because uh, there are a lot of people there, we have a lot of problems here. Uh, the, the last crisis in Spain uh, left us uh, very bad, and we have a lot of problems for, for us and for them. Spanish people are very kind. Uh, we know we have to help the, uh, the people, but we can't because uh, the crisis uh, left us very, very bad. Mm. And the, the migrants come here in, in this boat, for example, Luz de Mar, mm. uh, Red Cross, uh, built a, a little camp to assist the two migrant people. Yeah. Uh, they give uh, them uh, uh, clothes, uh, water, some food. After the shocking revelation from the Spanish police that the government may actually be working with human traffickers, we wanted to know what Spain should do next. So we spoke to another Vox representative, the Vice Secretary of the Territorial Implementation, Salud Anguita. Certainly we're concerned about that. Uh, we're aware of our difficult situation at the moment. And uh, in box we're not in favour of a um, uh, total... Uh, I mean, we're not against, absolutely, uh, about immigration. What we are in favour is a regulated and controlled level of immigration. Uh, we have to decide who is going to come in and who is not going to come in, depending on their levels and their capacity of integration in this country with our habits, with our culture, with our principles and with our style of life. They have to respect that if they want to come in. And secondly, the level of immigration will be according to the necessities of the country. It's clear that Spain is the new frontier of the EU's migrant crisis, but what's also clear is that most of those coming over are young African men looking to better their economic circumstances. And what's concerning is that the Spanish government and NGOs seem complicit in the mass transportation of people from Africa into the European Union. There are rules in place for refugees and there are rules in place for North normal economic migrants, but what's happening here looks as though it's breaking those rules. I'm here at a migrant camp in rural Morocco, tracing the route that African migrants take to get into Europe. This is where your donations go, so please click the link below and give generously. West Monster wants to get out of the bubble and keep giving you the stories that really matter to you, not what the mainstream media tells you should matter.